Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first episode of the Primordial Booze. It's a 31 day series designed to get you lager lovers off the can and onto the bottle. When I talk about cans, I'm talking about brands like Carlsberg, Carling Fosters, and the term beer with these brands should be used very lightly. These flavourless imitations will in no way be featured in this series, and it is my duty to get you viewers onto some really easily attainable, perfectly delicious beers you can get from your local supermarket to replace your usual 50p cans of lager. Um, so down to the basics of beer and ale drinking first and foremost, uh, you must have a glass. Um, I know as well as anyone after a long day, the first thing you want to do is just open a can, open a bottle, sit back and just drink straight out of it because it's easy and it's done with. Um, however, beer is all about the aroma and the smell you get when pouring it into the glass that is released. Um, the aromas you inhale when you take a sip from the glass mixes with the taste buds on your tongue as you drink it, giving you a full on flavour experience, so don't knock it, pour it into a glass. Because uh, essentially what you're doing when you drink out a bottle or a can is uh, cutting off your senses um, and only giving you half of what you should actually be experiencing when you drink a beer. Uh, plus, we eat and therefore drink uh, with our eyes. Brewers put a lot of work into their beers, so do it justice and appreciate the diversity of shades that beers and ales come in. Uh, now drink down to the drinking. Uh, and my first bottle of beer, and uh, the most controversial beer of this series I might add, is um, a bottle of Green King's Old Speckled Hen. A Green King are the brewing giants of the UK when it comes to beers and ales. Um, now the reason why this is controversial because as a rule I do not drink anything brewed by Green King. Uh, Green King as, is a dominating force uh, in the brewing world and has a nasty habit of buying up smaller breweries that are making their own lovely home brewed local beer, shutting them down, reducing the amount of new beers hitting our shelves, therefore threatening the Green King business. So. Why have I got a bottle of Old Speckled Hen sitting in front of me? Uh, well, Green King, in all their wisdom, when they decided to shut down Moreland and close their Abingdon Brewery, decided that um, the recipe was just far too good to let go of. Uh, so to this day, they've been brewing it in Bury St Edmunds, and uh, I'm going to have some now, thank you. Now the recipe and flavour of this phenomenal beer is the reason that I drink it. It's smooth and malty with a perfect balance between sweet and bitter and to finish it off there's a really crisp dry taste at the end. Now back to the reasons behind the glass. You wouldn't be able to get any of the fruity aroma that comes with drinking a bottle of Old Speckled Hen. It's got this lovely citrusy smell to it as you drink it which as I said mixes with the already malty bitter sweet flavours on your tongue and uh, you'd be doing it no justice drinking it straight out of the bottle. So thank you for watching my first ever episode. There'll be one coming every day for the whole of October, finishing on the 31st Halloween, where I'll be drinking my favorite beer in the world. Uh, I'll let you guess what that is, most of you already know. But see you tomorrow for another episode. Bye bye.